There is much weeping and gnashing of teeth on the left over the White House visit by World Series champion Boston Red Sox to be honored by President Trump for their achievement. The American League powerhouse steamrolled all opposition on the way to the storied baseball franchise's latest title and has been customary until the post-2016 national liberal snit. The winners of sports grounds have traditionally been honored by the sitting president. But much to the dismay of fans, sports has been poisoned by political correctness and owners bullied by intolerant social justice types who have declared war on beloved mascots like Chief Wahoo and caved to pressure by changing the disabled list to the injured list. Claim your free Make America Great Again hat while supplies last following Trump's stunning upset of the heavily favored Clinton machine, a toxic climate has spread to the sports world where pampered, wealthy athletes of color have placed themselves above their teammates to make anti-Trump political statements. It was only two weeks ago that the left was beating their chests when the NCAA men's basketball champ Virginia Cavaliers made a big deal of snubbing Trump but their victory party was cut short when a contingent from the Bosox defied the bullying tactics to meet with the POTUS where they were honored. Donald Trump hosts the Boston Red Sox at the White House https colon slash slash t dot co slash eob 8 spic dot twitter dot com slash eve 9 mb 1 phz Reuters top news at Reuters May 10th 2019 the media immediately threw down the race card and screamed foul some even suggested that the mostly white players who went to Washington were somehow traitors who sold out their woke teammates TrendingPolitics.com, the best collection of pro-Trump news on the planet. And lo and behold, the morning Joe bobbleheads were squealing like stuck pigs with the former congressman who once had a dead intern found in his office ripping Trump as the most racist president certainly in our lifetime while conveniently omitting Barack Obama who was largely responsible for the deterioration of race relations during his watch. MSNBC rants on Red Sox visit. Most racist president in our lifetime https colon slash slash t dot co slash row zero tvc four xrn pick dot twitter dot com slash three w six zgr six dgl newsbusters at newsbusters may tenth twenty nineteen via newsbusters scarborough rants on red sox visit most racist president in our lifetime one day after the visit to the white house by Boston Red Sox players celebrating the team's 2018 World Series championship, the hosts on Friday's edition of Morning Joe on MSNBC asserted that if even one player didn't want to go, the others should have stayed away as well. The strongest comment came from co-host Joe Scarborough, who said no one on the baseball team should have taken part because Donald Trump is the most racist president certainly in our lifetime. While discussing what happened on Thursday, the panelists pointed to the fact that Alex Cora, the team manager and a Puerto Rican, and almost all of the black and Hispanic players with the Red Sox refused to attend to protest the president's racist rhetoric. Co-host Mika Brzezinski joined the discourse by stating, I usually am the one that you guys make fun of for not really knowing enough about sports, but I've been watching you coach baseball and I know enough about what it means to be on a team. And if one member of the team is not comfortable or two or three, why would anybody on that team go? I don't get it. I mean, isn't it all about unity? Regular MSNBC contributor Donny Deutsch responded to that all-or-none philosophy by turning his attention to the flip side of that concept. Look. If it's a chance in my life, you know how I feel about Trump, to go to the White House, I shouldn't be denied that just because you disagree, Deutsch stated, so the same way that the guys have a right to stay at home, the guys have a right to go. Actually, Brzezinski countered, I don't think that applies because the reasons why these players didn't go are so much more important than getting a free trip to the White House, Brzezinski argued. Come on. Stick with your team, she added. It's just more of the same dangerous rhetoric that while alien to America, 
is a hallmark of totalitarian societies where a dissent can be deadly. Urgent poll, does Trump have your vote in 2020 question mark it was mission accomplished for the enemies of America that have penetrated every major media outlet in the nation and have used their forums to promote racial divisiveness and stoke the fires of hatred over an election that didn't go their way. President Trump's White House invitation leads Boston Red Sox players to split along racial lines https colon slash slash t dot co slash nxc 2 km 9 hdq pic dot twitter dot com slash pixwitch cxic cnn politics at in politics may 9th 2019 the media's participation in an orwellian two minutes hate didn't deter some of the fenway faithful who risked their lives during friday's home game against the seattle mariners to show their support for their president trump 2020 campaign underway at fenway hashtag red Sox hashtag world cup pick dot twitter dot com slash hggn 9 g 7 key riley at pros underscore and cons may 11th 2019 alas, the banner triggered the stadium flash mob which swarmed and ripped it down. You might like Let's Block Hats. Why?